From the moment the National Assembly announced its intention to set the sequence of general elections in the country, eyebrows have been raised. The other areas up for amendment in the 2010 Electoral Act have not elicited this level of debate, as focus is firmly on the amendments of Section 25, which proposes that the National Assembly election be held first and the presidential election last. This is against an earlier election schedule released by electoral body INEC, which slated the presidential and National Assembly elections on the first day of the election. The political party whose candidate died may... As the debate on the proposed schedule rages on, the chairman of the Senate's committee on INEC presents a conference report detailing the decision of both chambers on the agreements reached for amendment in the Electoral Act. The conference committee hereby recommends as follows that the Senate House of Representatives do consider and approve the Conference Committee report on a bill for an act to amend the Electoral Act No. 6, 2010 and Electoral Amendment Act 2015 to provide for a timeline for submission of list of candidates, sequence of election and political party primaries. Immediately after the report was adopted, lawmakers raised point of orders. Mr. President, this report of sequence of election was never discussed in the Senate here. It was never discussed in the Senate. So why, why are we bringing it up here? Distinguished colleagues, in my comment, I said, this institution, we must protect it. I know that every politics is local. I know. I appreciate that. But as much as it is local, we also have to maintain the integrity of this institution. But the lawmakers who oppose the amendment are determined to have their say. The report that was circulated, circulated, the chairman and the co-chair did not sign it. Why do you want to make a law to address what, just one particular problem at a particular time? Targeted. Targeted. This is a very partisan report. I can tell you here today that we have 59 senators who are opposed to the inclusion of this section 25 25. to the electoral act 59 senators you can take that to the bank the chairman of the senate committee on INEC also makes some clarifications first and foremost let me make this very clear that i had signed my signature on the concurrence committee report so I don't know where that came from, but I really signed it. And number two, uh, I'm not aware if uh, the sequence of election is being targeted at anybody. I'm not aware. Going forward, the conference report will also have to be sent to the House of Representatives for adoption. If passed, the bill will be sent to President Buhari for assent. President Buhari can choose to assent or withhold assent to the bill. However, the National Assembly can veto the president and pass the amendments. The critical issue will be if lawmakers on each side of the divide have the required numbers in both chambers to either veto President Buhari or defeat the veto. Linda Akibe, Channels Television News.